Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to start out by saying big, big news from one of the best indie promotions in Ontario today, Seaway Valley Wrestling. They have signed one of the best wrestlers on the indie scene, in my opinion, the natural Nick Sullivan. Big news from Seaway Valley Wrestling. Seaway Valley Wrestling's Facebook page, it says, breaking news. Uh, it says, we are proud to say Seaway Valley Wrestling has signed one of the most feared professional wrestlers from across the border. He is none other than the natural Nick Sullivan. Will anyone dare step up and face the natural and welcome him to Canada on August 28th? as Seaway Valley Wrestling and Cornwall Minor League Baseball present Unlocked. So Seaway Valley Wrestling signing Nick the Natural Sullivan. Holy smoke. Great signing. Great signing by Seaway Valley Wrestling. They, they're they showing that they're serious. They're very serious. They mean business. Nick the Natural Sullivan is a suplex machine. One of the best wrestlers, as I said, in on the indie scene right now and seaway valley wrestling has signed him to a contract just great signing by seaway valley wrestling well done august 28th will be unlocked who's going to step up to face nick the natural sullivan it's not going to be me that's for sure <laughs> It's not going to be the, be me. I'm sure somebody uh, will step up, or whoever it is, they're they're in for the fight of their life uh, because Nick the Natural Sullivan is just like I said, incredible, a suplex machine. And I'm sure an announcement will come. I'm sure somebody will step up and they'll make the announcement. Seaway Valley Wrestling will make the announcement. But again, August 28th, Seaway Valley Wrestling and Cornwall Minor League Baseball present Unlocked. It's going to be a great show. It's a free show as well, which um, which is a um, Great for the professional wrestling fan as well. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, but hey, again, I, I got to say, great, great signing. Nick the Natural Sullivan signed by Seaway Valley Wrestling. Again, Seaway Valley Wrestling showing that they mean business. Okay, so let's get into some more of the news. Jordan Grace. Impact Wrestling's Jordan Grace has been disappointed with the lack of women going through the forbidden door. Um, this is Fightful Select reporting. It says wrestling companies have been working together throughout the year with AEW, Impact, New Japan Pro Wrestling, and more coming together to share talent. While all these promotions have housed wrestlers from other promotions, the talent exchange has largely been centered around the males, which is true. From Impact Wrestling standouts, Jordan Grace that's been disappointing. This is a quote from Jordan Grace. Uh, she was speaking to Alex McCarthy of TalkSport. It says, honestly, I was super excited when it first got announced, but as the months dragged on with the only a few things happening and never really happening for the women, I've been more disappointed than anything else because I thought the Forbidden Door was simply going to be wide open instead of having to knock and only a few people get in at a time. But you know, that's the nature of the business, right? I, I gotta, you know, I agree with Jordan Grace 100%. I don't know why the, the women haven't been really walking through the Forbidden Door, why we really haven't seen any women on Impact Wrestlers, um, Impact Women Wrestlers on AEW. Um, right now, it's it's Deanna Perrazzo is a, is a knockout champion, and she's she was just announced that she's going to work for NWA and Power. She's going to take on Melina. And also, Deanna Perrazzo is going to be facing Fabio Apache at, um, at AAA's uh, Triple Mania uh, in August as well. I don't remember the exact date on that, but uh, she seems to be the only one. Perrazzo seems to only be the only one working for other promotions. Uh, and you have the NWA. You have the NWA crossing over, the NWA women crossing over to AEW, uh, where we've seen uh, Camille showed up. Uh, the end, uh, NWA women's champion Camille showed up on the last AEW Dynamite. We've seen Thunder Rosa when she was signed with NWA and Serena Deeb as well. Well, um, NWA talent showing up in AEW. I don't know why we're not seeing any Impact Wrestling women showing up in AEW. I think this it's, it's just a natural rivalry there between Impact Wrestling, the knockouts, and the AEW um, women's roster. Uh, I mean, I would love to see Deanna Perrazzo one-on-one -on -one with Britt Baker. Title versus title would be just fantastic. Just fantastic. Jordan Grace showing up and uh, calling out any woman from AEW. If she shows up on AEW Dynamite, I think that would be fantastic. I don't know why they're not... And why they're not doing it right now, it's just Kenny Omega 
showing up on Impact Wrestling and the Good Brothers showing up on AEW Dynamite. And that's all they're really doing right now. They're not really doing anything else. Okay, we, we, we sorry, we, Frankie Kazarian actually showed up on uh, Impact Wrestling. So Frankie Kazarian has crossed over as well. Uh, but we really haven't seen any Impact Wrestling um, stars crossing over to, um, to AEW Dynamite besides the Good Brothers. I mean, the Good Brothers are defending the Impact Wrestling uh, World Tag Team titles against Evil Uno and Stu Grayson on the next AEW Dynamite which is going to be a great match but i would love to see the woman i would love to see the women showing up uh on aew dynamite or even like, like i said i would love for tay conte to show up on impact um impact wrestling and call out uh diana Perazzo. i think that would be just a fantastic match i think the fans would love it uh and jordan grace seems to really want to be a part of this forbidden door uh, partnership with AEW. I don't know why uh, Jordan Grace uh, could have terrific matches with with numerous talent on the AEW um, women's roster. Um, there's there's a lot of names out there that, that she could have a great match. I don't know why they're not um, they're doing it. So I, I if I was Jordan Grace, I don't I don't I don't uh, I don't blame her for being disappointed. I'd be disappointed too. I'd be disappointed too, and it's it's a little confusing. I don't know, maybe because NWA's the NWA women roster uh, members of the NWA women's roster are showing up in AEW Dynamite right now. Maybe they just they 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 don't want to they want to leave it at that for now, and maybe eventually we'll see some Impact Wrestling uh, women showing up. But uh, Impact Wrestling has one of the best women wrestlers in the world right now, if not the best, in Deanna Brazo, who is, of course, the, as I mentioned, the Impact Wrestling Knockouts Champion. And, um, I mean, she's getting around. Like I said, we're gonna, she's going to be on an NWA show. She's going to be on a AAA show. Why isn't she going to be on an AEW show? Or why isn't an AEW star coming to challenge her? I mean, it, it only seems like a natural fit. Uh, again, uh, if I was to pick one, I would definitely pick Tay Conte uh, to come over. I think Tay Conte and Deanna Praza would have a terrific, terrific match. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if um, if anything happens down the road. Um, as you said, maybe there's politics involved. I don't. I don't. I don't. It's. I don't. I don't you see, I just. I don't understand. Like that, this, this politics might be involved. Very simple. Scott Demore calls up Tony Khan and say, "Hey, Tony, can we send? Uh, maybe we could do something with the women. We'll send Jordan Grace over to AEW. Then we call out uh, call out members of the anybody from the AEW Women's roster to come down on Challenger. You could have Nyla Rose maybe come down. Um, maybe you could have um, Hikaru Shida come down as well." Uh, possibly, and uh, we can have um, something with, with with them. Maybe Red Velvet will 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 answer the challenge. Uh, but I don't know. What, it doesn't honestly, it doesn't seem that difficult to me, right? When people say there's politics involved, just make a phone call. Hey, why, why don't we do this? Let, let's try this. Uh, okay, let let's try it. Um, or or Tony Khan calling us, Scott Demore saying, Hey, you know, maybe I I want to I want to send Red, Red Velvet. Um, I want to say, well, let me send Red, Vel Red Velvet to Impact Wrestling uh, on the next set of tapings, and, and she could do a run in, run in on Tasha Steeles, something like that. Or she could do a run in. She could do a run in on, um, on Jordan Grace. Do a run in on Jordan Grace. This is Jordan Grace is this is the article here on Jordan Grace. Uh, but let's get it going. I think it would be great. I think the fans will love it. I would love to see it. Again, the fans would love to see it, and it, it I think it would, would benefit both promotions. Uh, again, the Impact Wrestling Knockouts division um, is uh, it's just fantastic. It's one of the best women's roster in wrestling right now. AEW has a great women's roster. I mean, we could have Sue Young one on one against uh, Abaddon would be would be just a, a sick match as well. Uh, so let's get something going. Let's get something going. It's you know, and Jordan Gray saying she's disappointed. And as I said, I don't blame her. I'd be disappointed as well if I was Jordan Grace. New Japan Pro Wrestling. New Japan Pro Wrestling Super Junior Tag League starts tomorrow. And I can't wait. This is going to be a great, great tournament. Uh, the first set of matches uh, for tomorrow will be Tiger Mask and Robbie Eagles versus Dick Togo and Gato. Uh, Master Wato and Raisuke Taguchi going up against Yoshino, Yoshinobu Kanamaru and El Desperado. 
and then we have Sho and Yo taking on the end um the NWA the the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champions Tag Team Champions El Fantasmo and Taji Ishimori, which is going to be just a fantastic match. Um, other matches on the card, two other matches: Hiroshi Tenzan, Togi Makabe, and Toriano against uh, Jado. Yujiro Takahashi and Chase Owens in a match that I have no interest in at all because all it's going to be is Toriano doing his shtick, which I'm not really a fan of. And uh, Chase Owens, he's feuding with Chase Owens right now, so they're going to be doing something stupid. Uh, so I'm not really a fan of of that first match. So hopefully it's a quick one. <laughs> hopefully it's a quick match and they get through it quickly. Uh, and then the second match is actually going to be really, really good. It's uh, Tomoaki Hanma, Tomohiro Ishii, Yoshihashi, Hiroki Goto. Ishii, Hashi, Goto are the never openweight six-man tag team champions taking on the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion Shinko Takaji, Bushi, Sanada, and Tetsuya Naito. Ishii, Hashi, Goto will be defending the never openweight six-man tag titles against Bushi, Sonata, and Naito, um, I think next week. And that's going to be a great match as well. Bushi, Sonata, and Naito had a shot a few weeks ago, and they um, they fell short. But they fell, they won another shot, so they get another shot. I have a feeling that Tetsuya, Naito, Sonata, and Bushi uh, will become the next... Um, Never open weight six man tag uh, team champions. Uh, and again, I, I don't remember the exact date. I think it's August 16th or 17th um, that they're facing each other. But uh, I think the titles are gonna the titles are gonna change hands. Um, and I, I'm predicting Tetsuya Naito Sonata Bushi will be the next next um, never open weight six man champions. And the Super Junior Tag League, uh, I'm picking Sho and Yo. I'm picking Sho and Yo uh, to win, and um, the winner of the Super Junior Tag League, of course, gets a shot at the IWGP Junior uh, Tag Team Champions, which are El Fantasma and Tashi Ishimori. Uh, so I'm definitely going to go with Sho and Yo to win this tournament and get a shot at Fantasmo and Ishimori uh, in an effort to regain uh, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team titles. So on that note... I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. Might be back a little later tonight if something else develops. But until then, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye and stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.